Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we are going to uncrate the KYT TT course. What's up, SpeedX fan? Before we jump in and tell you all about the KYT TT course, do us a favor, subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel, then you're dialed in. You will be educated and up to date on all the latest gear coming into the industry, working hard for you. Just subscribe for us and you won't miss out. Also, if you would like to support us here at speedx.com, you could do so by simply shopping with us. There's gonna be a link in the description below that'll take you right over to our full selection, all the different flavors of the KYTTT course helmet at speedaddicts.com. While you're over there, buy a tire, get a chain, jacket, whatever you need, we've got it all at speedaddicts.com. Okay, KYT, if you haven't heard of them, you probably haven't been watching MotoGP recently because they've got a lot of heads over there. They're sponsoring some of the world's top athletes and making ultra high performance racing helmets, more streetable helmets like this TT course and off road helmets. The name of the game is lightweight, high performance and some killer looking graphics. So it's a winning combination over here at KYT. This is a more affordable polycarbonate full face helmet from the folks over at KYT is called the TT Corps. MSRP is gonna be 159, making it nice and affordable for you. We like that and we also like that it's lightweight. So it's only uh, a few ounces over three pounds. And again, anything close to three pounds just feels nice and light. The overall design of it is pretty stunning for a helmet that's uh, well below 200 bucks. You get a full aero package here, nice diffuser. The ventilation ducts up on the top are cool. They kind of got this, uh, this mid engine vibe. So it is a nice offering again for that price point of 159. The helmet's DOT of course, cause it's being sold here in the United States. And while this one on the table is EC2205, I'm told they're doing a running changeover to EC2206 on the TT course. So that's what you should expect going forward. We'll update the video. And of course, if you look on our listings, it will tell you exactly what you're getting. Hopefully they do that changeover quick. So everything's EC2206, which is the new European testing standard. It's a stricter regimen than the old 2205 and pushing manufacturers to get you a safer helmet. Okay, that is the TT course in a nutshell, but let's do a deeper dive here and talk about the fit number one. So you're going to see a normal size run here of extra small through two extra large. Sorry, no three X's for you larger melons, two shell sizes, two EPS. So it's going to split down the middle here. What I've noticed about the KYT uh, TT course is it fits me about a half size snug. I can fit into an extra large like I usually take but it's a smidge tight. If I'm gonna be wearing this on the street, which is likely for a polycarb helmet in this price range, I might round up a half size and, and sneak into the two extra large. Cheek pads, headliners are customizable. So if you work with our team, we can kind of mix and match and get you dialed in with the exact custom fit if you need that. But what I would do is if you're kind of borderline between sizes, round up. Otherwise you might get away with the size you normally wear uh, in the TT course. Check out the sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. And if you're not sure, I always recommend talking to our rider support team because they're pros and they're gonna help you figure it out. Now, if you get the helmet and it's the right size, don't wring your hands, don't panic. Just remember if you bought it at Speed Addicts, you're gonna get no cost returns. That's right. We'll cover that return label, get it back here, get you a different size, get you a different color, or just your money back if you decided it wasn't for you. To qualify, make sure the gear is brand new in original condition with all the packaging, the tags, and all that stuff, and that you live in lower 48 states to get that free return label. Okay, back to the helmet here. So the ventilation system is robust. You are going to get your kind of your standard chin bar vent, which actually this one feels a little chintzy, to be honest with you. It's just got a little bit of a light touch. That's fine. It's gonna let the air in through the chin bar. Up top, you have a more robust setup with these two kind of again mid-engine intakes and then you get a crown intake up in the front with switches that are a little bit beefier i like that you can see kind of a plastic grill behind that and then back here you kind of have more of a metal grill if you look in there close enough easy to work switches with a good feel on the back underneath the diffuser you have passive air escapes to get a nice venturi exhaust the eps is channeled you'll see that hang on when we open up the helmet but count on adequate airflow coming out of your TT course. And graphics, 
that are pretty darn good. I mean, race inspired graphics from KYT, again, that is where their focus is at the moment in the street game. They're putting a lot of helmets on athletes in MotoGP, and they've got a pretty nice set of graphics. I'm watching other companies that you've heard of just really fall down the graphics department. So it's nice to see something that's pretty fresh and good looking at this $159 price point. Okay, so there is the back, there is the front. You get the drift. Let's look at the face shield before I flip it over. So we have a UV blocking face shield with about five or six detents. It doesn't have a lock per se or a snap to undo. It's just got this little toggle up in the front. You're gonna push it up and out and it will lift up. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, and close. There it is. So you do have detents. If you're the type of rider that wants to ride with the face shield cracked a bit to get a little bit extra airflow, you can do so. There is chrome, iridium, smoke options if you want to add a little bit of flavor and protect yourself from the sun. If you want to change the visor, you're just going to pull that down and pull this right off. It is also pin lock prepped. You see the little nipples there. Pin lock insert sold separately can be installed to fight fog. Again, not included with the helmet, and you notice they called out eyeglasses are compatible with the TT course, shouldn't have any issues there. Okay, finally, let's get to the bottom and the interior. Chin curtain is included, can be removed if you don't wanna run that, so let's pull that out of the way. Standard D-ring closure. There are speaker pockets, so in terms of a comm system, you won't have problems with the speakers, but you're gonna have to compete with these kind of ridges here. These look cool but you're gonna have to fight with them just a touch to get a computer on here. I think you can land kind of between these, both these, these accents here and get a, either a clamp style or an adhesive style mount. And again, you get the speaker pockets underneath. Let's remove cheek pads. Ah, we should probably undo that chin, chin strap first. Here we go. Okay. There is your cheek pad. Again, eyeglass compatible, comm system compatible. Let's get the other one out. Three year warranty from KYT, which is about a year or two longer than the industry standard in this price range. There is your cheek pad and it's one and the same with the neck roll. So if you wear it, if you're commuting this, you wear it a lot, you set your helmet down and stuff, you trash the neck roll, you just buy a new set of cheek pads and you got a refreshed helmet. Okay, there's the speaker pocket, it's got a little foam puck in there, you just remove that and then you can run your comm system. Let's get the comfort liner out of the way. Very easy to remove, wash, moisture wicking. There's your comfort liner right there. Comfortable place to be. Again, just a smidge tight in my opinion compared to kind of a standard fit. And then we have our EPS that's ducted. Lots of air coming in through that forehead area. It's gonna blast into your temples, keep you cool, calm and collected and hopefully making less mistakes out there on the road or track, wherever you decide to wear your TT course. Three year warranty again from KYT. It's an affordable helmet from a company that's known for making higher end racing helmets and on the heads of a lot of the top athletes in the world out there. If you've been watching MotoGP, you want a little bit of KYT in your life, here it is. Now's your chance. If you still have questions, go talk to our rider support team because I have nothing else to speak to you at this moment about the helmet, but they're available over the phone, email, or live chat. And oh, as always, if you've got one of these, sound off in the comment section below. That's it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.